with money. You people draw it. On discerning your prophetic flow, discerning your prophetic flow, if you want to paste the message, start from here. Discerning your prophetic flow. Can I say this to everyone under the sound of my voice? Every believer has a measure of prophetic flow. And by prophetic flow, I mean your channel of accuracy. It is not like you are not prophetic. It is more like you have not sat down. There, there are some of you, if I tell you to preach, eh? if I tell you to preach, you say, ah, ah, let me test something. You are the one preaching on Sunday. <laughs> but can I shock you? All of us did that when they told us we were preaching the first time. But the more we did it, the more we discovered how God will move through us via that channel. I didn't used to preach this way. The first message I preached ever in my life is life is a seed. Let me tell you the secret of that message. I went for a conference and someone preached it. I jotted away and I went to repreach it. Hold on for. I said, hmm. I said, hmm. hmm. I said, well, I said, God, I said, breathe in. Hmm. I said, breathe out. I said, life is a seed. You breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants use it for photosynthesis and they give you oxygen to breathe in. So we sow and we reap. They say, hmm, hmm, hmm. It was not my message. So when people call me today and say, ah, ah you preach really good. One of, one, of my, one of my friends called me and said, ah, why well, don't preach you? <laughs> it's a testament to consistency of allowing God to use me that way over the years. But I'm not even talking about preaching now. Everybody has a channel of, let me ask a question. How many of you, something has happened and you felt like, ah, ah, I knew this thing will happen. Raise your hand if you have been there. Ah, how many of you, it has happened consistently that, ah, ah, I knew this thing will happen. And it has happened again and again. Which means there's something in you that can be accurate. This is what discerning your prophetic flow does to you. It makes you know how exactly it works and you can now deliberately say this is what will happen. I remember when I was young, there's a kind of joke we used to crack. One more day, how many of you cracked that joke? That you just want to deceive your siblings that GHCN has restored power. How many of you did it? I'm not the only sinner. Do you understand? One more day. Hey. So one day I said, one more day. Ah, ah. And they brought it. Ah. I said, yes, I said, one more day. And they brought it. They thought time. You know, you know, per day. What has happened? From a set of patterns, I have seen that that my instinct is speaking something like that is a sign that something wants to happen. You are, it's not like you are not prophetic, you are just not observant. Hmm. Are you the audience for this thing? Because it's very deep. Some of you, you can just wake up and you will have some sort of knowings, some knowings, and all through the day, those things will begin to happen, and you just sleep like that. The only pathway to discerning your own prophetic flow is that you observe the patterns of your accuracy. The patterns of your accuracy. Let me, let me, ah, Jesus will help me. The patterns of your accuracy. For instance, for those of us who are preachers, it is not every preacher that says, the Lord said there's someone here. Am I right? There are preachers who have never said it. I know a preacher that will come to us when we were young and he will say, ah, mo we ene, come and be. He won't say, God told me. He will say, ah, mo mo. And people will be coming out. People will be coming out. People will be coming out. I know another one that will speak in Yoruba. Say, mo ni ro nye yo fwene, come be. Bye, lo she He will declare it as authority. While there are some people, they will just teach. And while they are teaching, they are mirroring your life. How many of you in a teaching, you are, it looks like someone told pastor or something. Now, someone was supposed to leave a certain mentorship relationship at a season when I was preaching in Ife. So, I came to preach on the subject discerning urgencies. And I was using the example of that person's life. That person is in this ministry now. After the message, that person called the person that introduced that to me and said, did you tell Poemen anything? I gave the exact illustration I didn't know anything about. I did not say God told me 
But under that teaching influence, I have mastered it, that accuracy is there. As I'm talking now, I can use your life as an example without even knowing. Are you with me? So, if you don't observe patterns, you will miss certain information in destiny that could have helped you. Look at your life. All those, ah, and I knew, and I knew. Merge them together and make an inference from that. How did it happen? Let me, let me, let me preach it in a coordinated manner. How many of you are learning? If you are learning, raise your hand. Descending your prophetic flow. Shandalivra. Now, prophetic flows vary. Some flow in utterance. Some flow in utterance. You know, some of you, when you are talking, it's like you are just talking about people's lives. How many of you, that happens to you? That you are just talking, you are just in a conversation and you are communicating something accurate. How many of you, that happens to you? Anyone like that here? Come, come share, come share. Give her a spare microphone because I want this to be practical. At times, I, from my own observation, there are different pathways through the prophetic flows. At times, utterance, tell us, you are just talking and you are accurate. Yes. Grace conference, I okay. I was discussing with Doctor Emmanuel. That I feel like something, something is not right. Or I okay, I had a revelation first. That, so I could not really remember the whole scenario of the dream, but I knew that the dream was bad. Like the church was put to shame, something, something like that. So I and Doctor Emmanuel were having that conversation, and he was like. Uh, since pastor has said it's a kind of spiritual warfare kind of thing something like that it tends to happen and god is going to solve it so when we got to church that day the generator had problem it was going off and on going off and on so you knew i was in conversation with someone the thursday before the wednesday before and we just began to talk and we we decided in that that we should pray against having to repair something urgently we were inside that place and we were praying, Lord, <laughs> Lord. You see, different people picked it. My spiritual father called me after that meeting. He said, son, I didn't come to preach. I came to do warfare. You won't, I won't give you the details. So, what I'm talking about here is that you are just talking and you are accurate. Not that you dreamt. Do you understand what I'm saying? That you, you are just in a normal conversation and you are mirroring that kind of person's life. Now, sit down. Thank you, beloved. There are people that that happens to. Especially people who are preachers. As I gave an example, sometimes in Oshobo something happened. And God will help me to bring this home. Something happened in Oshobo. A man was invited to preach. And he said, see, backbiting is terrible. Let's assume Bola calls Yenka on the phone number 0816 calls a phone number just to crack a joke and exactly a bowler in that church he was an invited guest he didn't know any bowler he didn't know any yinka to, not to talk of knowing their phone number there was a bowler in that church that called a yinka with the exact phone number hmm. what does that suggest to you I'm sure that when he hears that testimony he himself will be surprised like hey but apart from being surprised, it, it should observe the pattern. Hmm. Are you with me? You're not looking like you're with me. It should observe the pattern. That most likely, when all trans flows, it, that happens to me a lot. When I'm on that all trans, I'm also very prophetically accurate. While for some, their prophetic flow comes in definite prophetic word, which means God speaks to them. They just have a knowing. God speaks to them. They hear the voice of God and all that. You see that now. There's a reason why I'm giving this. While for some others, their prophetic flow comes through their instinct. How many of you know what instinct is? What is instinct? Who wants to help us? What is instinct? Help me. Help me. What is instinct? Huh? Oh, yeah. The 
a knowing within. Am I right? A knowing within. All right. I want to ask you to make this very clear. How many of you have, you just have something like a, an internal feeling that something will happen and they happen? How many of you? Come and share. I, come. Share one or two examples. There's a reason. I'm going to bring this together. Come. Like an internal feeling. Yes, Pastor Toby has a microphone there. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, one that I can remember now was when we were at Uncle Joe. That day I was coming to church. I was on bike. And I just saw a lady pass. I've never seen her in church before. And somehow I just knew that she was coming to church. So I got to church and okay, I waited for a while. Not like I was ex not like I was waiting for her, but suddenly I just saw that person that I saw and I was feeling like this person was coming to church. I saw her in church and I was like, Wow. A annoying, am I right? Is there any other time that has happened to you? Yes, there are times things like that have happened, but I cannot You just have knowings yes. like an instinct. You know, today when I was leaving home, my wife told me, he said, your instinct is bad. I will just predict how someone will react to something. I can predict a meeting I didn't attend. It's not like I'm trying to prophesy. Do you understand? You know, there's a way when I'm trying to prophesy, Duh. and this person sat here. And I, no, I'll just say, uh, this person will say this in the meeting, and this person will say it. It's just an internal knowing. Many people, I know a man, the wife told me that he can just stand up and he's looking for snake. Not like he knew that there's any snake anywhere, but his instinct is feeling like there's a snake somewhere. So many times, prophetic flows, there are things I have done. Let me tell you how instinct works. Instinct can just tell you to change the positioning of this chair. Not knowing whether anything, instinct goes further to the action point to prevent something. Not knowing whether anybody will come and eat it. If you don't change it, then someone comes to eat it. You know, say, ah, and I felt like changing it. Instinct in itself is more of an action point. Are you following what I'm saying now? Instinct can just tell you, go back home. Huh. who is with me who is with me there's a reason it will just how many of you don't have these experiences you share i need you to share because i want to give you some solutions and i want to be sure i'm talking to the right people yes the night i wanted to go down for let's go down for prep so i saw my pen because i have this special pen i've been using and as i wanted to take it down i saw another pen a random one i felt like i should take that one that something will happen to the one i wanted to take and i like that i said mm -mm, let me take it because i like it let me still take it by the time i got downstairs and i went out by the time i came back i couldn't find it until now <laughs> I can't find it. you know some people you will want to wear a fine cloth and you will just not feel like wearing it if you wear it you can try to use the toilet and the zip will destroy <laughs> So instinct tells you to do something without necessity. It's not a voice. It's not still small voice. It's just a push to either do something or not do something. Instinct can come to make urgent what you have been postponing. You just begin to feel like I have to do it now. I have to do it now. Please let me know if you know what I'm talking about. I have to do this thing now. And you will do it. After you are done doing it, they say it has closed. So, the reason why I'm saying this to you is that many times the prophetic has been stereotyped in, hmm, and thus said the Lord. No. There are many, the, you see, what I'm saying in essence is you must discern your accuracy. Every time you are accurate, find out how did it come? You are just seeing someone. You are feeling like, you know, one day some people did something. They saw not me in a way that was not very good. And at that time, I was not a preacher of love. So I called someone. I said, this person did this. 
they will know that God called me. <laughs> so that person went to call the person. I've changed now. I can't do that again now. Not even at this level. <laughs> you can destroy things. And say, ah, go and beg for me. So someone was trying to bring that person that dishonored to come and beg. She called me. She said that you, I am coming. She didn't tell me she was taking, bringing that person. Uh-uh. As I dropped the call, I was just seeing two people. It was not, I was just having a knowing that uh, it's like more than one is coming. And I left home. So they got home. She called me and said, we are at home. I said, who are the we? Say, eh, I brought. I said, you didn't tell me. You can't surprise me. Have you not heard? It is that instinct. If you are planning to surprise me, it is that instinct that will tell me. Apart from the fact that you people don't know how to surprise. I will just be seeing you people talking. You don't want me to hear in one corner. You don't want me to hear. Ah. Somehow, but even if I don't know anything, somehow, my wife is here. I can just stand up and say, we're doing this thing now. We're doing now. We're doing now. Not knowing why. And at the end, it will be, ah, thank God we did it all. Thank God we did it. There's a reason why. Many times, I think for majority, the prophetic flows this way. If you have had this experience, raise your hand. If you have had that experience that there was just a push to do something immediately. All right. All right. Now, prophetic flow, it flows through visions and revelations. Vision is like something is being played. You can open your eyes and you are still seeing it. For me, the way vision works is that even when my eyes are open, I may, I may just stop. It would be like they suspended my natural eyes and I'm seeing something. That happens with people a lot. That happens with people. <laughs> like someone in this church told me, he said, ah, ah, ah. Someone stood in front of him. You know the funny thing? You know the funny thing? His eyes will still be open. But when the supernatural comes, this is suspended temporarily, just very faintly. Your eyes are still open and you are seeing that. Ah, ah, ah. That's why people that are accurate with the prophet, they don't close their eyes to tell you. They are looking at you and they are saying, ah, I'm seeing this. Ah, I'm seeing that. How are they seeing? When the inner eyes is walking, the outer eyes is suspended temporarily. There are times for me, every time I've called name, it's like a hand has written the name. I went to preach in a church. Okay, you were there. And I was saying, there's an online reward you. There's an Olan Rewaju here. There's a, and the Olan Rewaju, three Olan Rewajus came. But when I saw the exact one, I knew. And I kept saying, your secret tears are wiped. I said, does it make sense? He said, ah, it makes sense. It makes sense. You see, it came. The Olan Rewaju, I just saw it written. 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 That's, that's an advanced. You see, let me tell you something about vision. The very moment you touch impurity, your vision becomes blurry. Visions are very advanced operations of the prophetic. That if you begin to touch impurities, it will, it will be hindered. Who is learning? I know it's, it's quite deep, but I will bring it to something you will understand. Jesus will help me tonight. Ah, Kayla and Brosita. Then dreams, dreams, dreams. Some, someone like me, hear me, precious people. Someone like me, I don't dream. <laughs> Because whatever God wants to show me, he just shows me. He doesn't need to show me in the dream. If I sit like this, I can see what will happen. But when I now dream, ah, I take it serious. I can dream once in six months. But there are people that their own flow is dreams. And it's very scriptural. How many of you, God speaks to you through dreams here? Wave. Anyone like that? Pastor Lamide, God speaks to you through dreams. How come I've never known? Who else? God speaks to you through dreams. Okay. What dream have you dreamt? Come, Muiwa. I'm coming. I will take it. What dream have you dreamt that happened exactly the way? Yes, give him the microphone. Hi. 
something has changed in the atmosphere. I will, I will round this off. Yes? Why is this microphone not working? All right. Praise God. Yes. Yes, when I was in part one, I dreamt, I saw my, my, um, my first, um, 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 what's it called, chemistry um, C. I I saw the, the score before going to go to check it the next morning, and it was exactly the same thing. Let me give you an example. Thank you. You saw the score. There was a program someone was holding, and in night to the program, I dreamt that I was in the program. And I was asking, where are the people? Where are the people? They had spent and put a lot of money. I was asking, where are the people? In the hall, I've never been. If it was someone I could reach, I would have called him that you need to pray. Because at times, eh, such programs, they are warfare. If you don't pray, people will say, we'll be there. And the day they are coming, some will just go, oh, show, 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 mommy, they are GC. And rain will start falling. They will say, I will come tomorrow. Tomorrow they will wake up late. Something will happen. So, the program was live on the internet. And I saw it. The hall was almost empty. Ha! Huh? In my heart, I felt like, and I knew. Because I. I saw it in a dream. God speaks through dreams. But the problem of dream is that when there is an emergency, dream may not suffice. There are situations where you must hear God now. Who is with me here? You must hear God now. You cannot say, let me go and sleep. But if God shows you things through dreams, it is valid. Who heard me here? Who heard me? It's not, it is valid, but it cannot be the only prophetic channel you have. It cannot be the only prophetic channel you have. <sighs> All right. Let me just, let me just. Now, how do I discern my prophetic flow? Please bring this puppet downwards. I want to be close to you. How do I discern my prophetic flow? Now, what are the prophetic flows? Different prophetic flows, examples I've given. Or trance. That you are just talking. And as you are talking. And let me. Um, this I will bring it together in what I am about to say. So don't miss me here. Thank you Lord. Something has shifted in the atmosphere. And I sense that there will be activations here tonight. Activations. Activations. Some of you. The Lord is telling me. that There is a prophetic flow. There is something you used to experience that stopped. It stopped. But tonight they will be activated again. In the name of Jesus. So what are the things you should check for? To know which one is my prophetic flow. Like I told you with all confidence. That every time I am talking under this influence. I am accurate. Which means if I just start opening my mouth. I really don't need to. Do you know every week people send me messages. This message now is a question in somebody's heart. I know it. I will receive the message after this service. Was it not last week that someone said, this is exactly what I was thinking? Why? When the presence of God comes on me and I have a trance, it's a sign that I have a prophetic word for someone. I may be explaining it, but it is someone's prophecy. How did I arrive at it? I observed patterns. So when I preached the first time, someone said, ah, who told you? Ah, I preached again. Someone said, ah, who told you? Did anyone tell you? I preached again. If you cannot observe patterns, you will miss opportunities. So look at your life and observe patterns. The same thing, if the devil is doing something in somebody's life and that person cannot observe patterns, the devil will do a lot before you realize you are under attack. It is a smart move to be able to observe patterns in your life. Who am I blessing here? So with this prophetic flow also, I say something to you. If I are right, if I knew Marvelous will be in church and I saw Marvelous without knowing Marvelous will come physically. Uh -uh. At another time, I knew Pastor Toby will be in church and I saw Pastor Toby without knowing. Uh -uh. I must observe the two events. How did I know? So by the third time, oh boy, how did I know I will be posted to Abia? You know, I told you now that any time I dream, why did I say that? 
because I've observed patterns. Two days to NYSC posting, I had a dream and I saw Abia. You know what? I woke up that day, so people were talking to me. I said, I will be posted to Abia tomorrow. They say, hey, legs of men. You know why? You know, I've been doing business in Abia. So that person thought that because I wanted to continue my business, I walked it to Abia. She didn't know that I was saying Abia because I saw it in the dream. So when I went to check, as I was going, I said they would post me to Abia. I actually spoke to someone in NYC office to help me walk it to Akwa Ibom. Because they have said, Uyo is fine. I just wanted to explore you. And the person was walking. And the person has never failed. But I saw Abia. So I knew this one will fail today. Why? Based on pattern. Some people will see Abia like that. I need to see Bia Kwa Ibom. <laughs> so that kind of person, you cannot trust your dream. But I know that if I dream, it's a lot. But it can be once in six months. So when we got there, someone checked and said, Ah, ah, Satan, capital, Abia, Umaya. Others were checking and they were like, Oh my God, oh my God. I didn't say, Oh my God. I did my own after the dream. Because by observation of patterns, God spoke to me in a way that doesn't fail. Do you get it now? So, uh, what are the patterns you will observe? That will make you arrive at an accurate answer where your prophetic flow is concerned. Number one, I've said a check for accuracy. If something produces a kind of result accurately every time, then that thing is a flow you should pay attention to. How many of you have things that they have been accurate? You have known things accurately through that channel before. Come and talk to me, Marvelous. Give us, tell me, give him microphone. I, I, I want to do interpretation today if you open up and you let me. You are, as in that thing has happened consistently and you have been, it has been accurate. Talk to me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, so um, I think sometimes in 2018, um, that time it was in my parts, I think part four going to part five in um, school, OE back then. Then, you know, um, there have been these uh, kind of um a kind of talk and everything that okay even me i knew that okay i was going to be a member of the pastorate member of the fellowship then two days to the choice um the day the choice was going to be announced i remember i came to ibado then on getting before i even left school my fellowship president was telling me that you must be in church on sunday that is very important i said okay so i'll be in church then on getting no but it's like god to i just sensed in my spirit that god said you are going to somewhere you are going to teach the bible and then I felt like, ah, I've never been in Bible study, um, what's the name now, um, committee or group, whatever they call it that, that time. Then Sunday came, I got to church that very Sunday morning, I left Sibadon. Then when they started, they were like, Foundation Bible School Principal, uh, Law 400 Level, Ojele, Marvelous. And I was like, <laughs> you know, everybody, after, save, after the choice, after service, some people came to my room, they like, they rigged. Um, the old choice, that is Ojoro and everything. Then I told one of them, I said, ah, no. That actually two days ago when I got home, I sensed this thing. You and sensed? Then, how yes, did I, that sensing feel? Because for someone who doesn't know how to sense, how many of you feel it is vague? I sense. How did you sense? Tell us how you sensed. Okay, sir. Over time, it's something that um, the way it came, I knew it and I was It just very came sure. to you like it a came. knowledge. It wasn't like suddenly. You was, were not thinking of it thinking that of you will be all. teaching Bible. At all. All right. What, uh, uh, Tell us another time this exact thing has happened and it has okay, been accurate. Sir. Okay, so when I was Foundation Bible School principal, there was this time I got to service, one, um, I think, probably evening service. Then I saw someone, I said, ah. then she came to greet me, ah, welcome, sir. Then as I shook her, she was one of my students. I just told her, I said, see, I said, you entered the relationship recently. I said, tell me about it. She was shocked, like, ah. You sensed it. Yeah, sensed it, it just came to you as you shook her. As I now, have. if you now stand beside me and you sense something based on that pattern, how much of trust will you put on that sensing? Very strong, sir. Who is getting what I'm saying here? There are channels you cannot trust because based on pattern, you have not proven. But the very moment something has been consistent at least five times, you should be able to trust it. Yes, you see, if you follow this message, very well, you will be able to call people's names. <laughs> you know I was explaining to someone that you see the prophetic is of the heart when a name is just on your heart 
you are hearing, uh, Wale is just on your heart. Wale. You know, I looked at the lady and said, Who is Tunde? Say, eh! He asked me out today. He asked me, I would have been sick. I said, This suru, this suru, this. How I didn't hear a voice. No man stood behind me to say Tunde. Tunde was just standing in my heart. How did I trust that to be bold enough to say, Who is Tunde? Because over time, it has proven accurate. Who understands what I'm saying? So, thank you, marvelous. Amazing. Amazing. So, check for successes. How did you... Now, this is the second thing. The, the best decisions of your life that produced quality results, how did you make them? I'm asking you a critical question tonight that if you answer, you may not make a single mistake again. How many of you have made good decisions in life? Like good decisions. You have not made good decisions. At least I know my wife has made the decision to marry me. That's a fantastic decision. How many of you have made quality decisions that resulted in success? How did you make it? Now, how many of you have made that good decision more than once? Anyone? Ha. Ah. I bet you made good decision. How many of you have made that good decision more than once? For instance, let me give you an example. Also check your bad decisions. How did you make them? So that when you are beginning to repeat a negative prophetic pattern, you can be accurate. Every time you are not able to wait, you make mistakes. How did someone arrive at that statement? Because he has checked himself that every time he has had to rush, he's about to make a mistake. You are not observing the patterns of your life. The best decisions of your life, how did you make it? Let me give you a very funny example. For instance, someone like me, before a very critical decision that will change things, God calls me for a retreat. So, and I will just tell my wife, I need to go for a retreat. And I will go. When I come back, it's not like I had something in the retreat. I will just be taking decisions by instinct. The next one month after that retreat, those decisions will be defining. Who understands what I'm saying? Now, if I've observed that and God is saying it's time for a retreat, what does that mean? And the day God calls for a retreat and I didn't go. <laughs> All my bad decisions have been traced to it. Ah, who am I helping here? If you feel I'm helping you. Have you made quality decisions in life? Talk to me. Raise your hand if you have. Again and again. Have you observed the pattern in making them? What pattern have you observed? Who wants to share? What, what have you observed when the decision is good? So that when you're about to make a good decision, you can know. Huh? Who wants to share? It's like many of you have not made good decisions. So let me pray for you that in the name of Jesus, you will make good decisions. <laughs> so check your successes. Check your successes. Check your successes. For me, you know, for instance, we are looking for venue in Lagos now. Someone told me of a venue and said, ah, ah, ah. They want to take it to, I said, let them take it if they will take it. I don't do things like that. Do you know why? Every day want to take it that I've taken. Ah, ended up bad. Our first venue as a ministry, we got it 190,000. Spent around 400,000 in renovating it. After we were done, they said they have sold the building. That we should pack our load. And how did I arrive at it? I saw it. They said, ah, ah. Like three people have checked it. They said, let's pay now. Let's pay now. Let's pay now. Ah! I said, let's pay. Let's pay. Let's pay. There was no money in ministry account. I pulled down my own savings. Paid. Where? So if I now want to get a venue and someone say, ah, they want to pay. Let them pay. Oh. <laughs> because I've observed that if the moment I enter that pressure by that statement, I'm about to make a wrong choice. Observe your successes and your failures. You will be able to detect your prophetic flow. 
Who am I blessing here? Raise your hand. Um, um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, I want to sit down with this a bit for a few minutes, four or five minutes. Check for warnings. Everyone under the sound of my voice, you must investigate when you are not supposed to do something. How do you feel? Hmm. When you are supposed to do something, how do you feel? For instance, let me tell you how I know. There's no person disloyal to me that I will not catch. Ask her. Just stand beside me. Once you stand, I begin to feel like I should push the person. I begin to feel very uncomfortable around the person. It has, you know, the I may not know what you did, but the moment I feel that, and that's why when I'm not sure of someone I, I just try to strike a conversation it will look like there's a barrier between us and I don't have a word for you even if you're in core leadership ah you know one day I was in church office and someone called me and said please pray for me as I dropped the question ah any it is sorrow of any it is sorrow of ah ah <laughs> Why for some people? The only way by which they know these lawyer people is by dreaming. They just see that person. And that person comes, old knife. <laughs> Let me now ask you a simple question from what I'm saying. If I'm about to appoint someone and I stand beside the person and I'm feeling that way, what is God telling me? What if I don't observe that pattern? Who is the enemy? What if I ignore the pattern? What if I don't see that this is a pattern here? You want to say yes. Because I know that one. You will understand it. And the day you want to call, you just lose your peace. It's like you are just unhappy. You check the guy. He's a good guy. But you are just unhappy. Your last... Yes, that didn't work. I remember when you said it. You know, there was a young lady I had asked out. Because I was rushing. I felt like I needed. And she said yes. The moment she said yes, I lost my peace. don't get it. I was looking for my peace. I was trying to push it. But I was looking for my peace. You know you can't fake peace. But she has said yes. That's why all things are, let it not work if it's not your will. It doesn't work that way. It can go and work. But check for warning signals. What warning signals over time has delivered you from evil? The moment I felt that, I began to feel the same way I feel when someone is disloyal. Ah, I say, I'm sorry. I apologize. So I say, ah, ah, don't break it. Don't break what? Or you want me to marry someone that will be holding your neck? Oh, le lo, le ni. Oh, le lo, lo worry. <laughs> ah! Or, oh. How many of you have had feelings like that? Restraints. When is God restraining you? This is how you can discern your prophetic will. When is the interpretation restraint? If you don't know when God is restraining you, you will make many wrong choices. When is God restraining me? These are quality questions I asked. That when people say I'm accurate, this is the pathway. When is God saying a yes? When is God not saying a yes? How do I feel when God is saying don't go ahead? How many of you God has restrained you before? Raise your hand. Anyone? 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 Probably you want to invest in a business. <laughs> you know, God has restrained you before. Oh yeah, come and tell us. 
I mean, I thought your decisions are always right. God doesn't need to restrain. Come and tell us. I want to. I want us to. Go. Has God restrained you before? Ah. Uh, yes. Yes. Talk okay. fast. I okay. don't want to. Okay. Um. So it was. Someone wanted me to invest in all this. Like, come and invest. At and, me. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so at that point, like, somehow I didn't just like get the money to invest, and at the point. Someone wanted to send money to me, but I just felt, don't let me do this thing. But I think I just still felt you like did I should did it. And so what happened? <laughs> Tell us. How did that mean leave? <laughs> eh? And I did it, and I've not even done it for one month. Like, I was supposed to get the return after one month, and it didn't even reach one month. And then, it's, I think after two weeks, started having issues. They told me that let I should not worry. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There are times God wants to prevent future catastrophe. He won't want to create a pattern for you, for wealth that way. Hmm. You don't get what I'm saying. God can make you lose 100,000 so that you won't lose 1 billion. But I won't explain that yet. I, will, I want to explain it all. The business may not crash if she didn't enter. But God is looking at it that if my child becomes this, it is difficult to unbecome what you have become. So the day you will go and invest one billion, you call it risk. And then they will carry your whole future away. <laughs> so you had a restraint and you didn't did, you see did it. So money has gone. The money you were supposed to sow into <laughs> who else? Who else has been restrained there? One, let, let's take one more. When has God restrained you? Anyone? Ha. Huh. Come, Pastor Lamide. You people are not giving me the vibe I want. When has God restrained you? Or you have not observed when God is saying don't do it. It doesn't always come in voice. At times it will look like they stole your peace. God has restrained you before. Come, come beloved. Ah, Can I share this very accurately? Ah, I want to share something with you. And I'm going to share it because I feel God wants me to. I was supposed to marry someone. And we chose wedding date. I had faith for my suit. They have sent package home. I mean the list. They were already negotiating list. Parents were already talking. And the, I was supposed to pay for all in a Jawa estate the next day. But one week before, it was like someone stole my piece. I went to check my BP. My BP was rising. Ah, I would want to sleep. I would not be able to sleep. Ah, what's wrong with me? What's happening to me here? So I, I started calling some prophetic friends. Ah, what's going on? What's going on? And they found out that it was a decision I wanted to make that I was not supposed to make. So, that was some sort of restraint there. Who understands what I'm saying here? God is saying, don't do it! Not because the person is bad. The person is one of the best people I've ever met. But the person is not good for me. Ah. And you see, for me, once I know God is saying, don't do it. Ah, he became Jesus. Ah, payment has broken up. Ah, ah, payment has broken up. Ah, ah. And you know, I had posted. It. That's why I tell people when you are just entering a relationship, avoid social media. So that breakup will not look like divorce. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I couldn't walk around people again. And you know, they are not discussing it. They are just looking at me like, ah. Oh, my God. So let me please share. When is God restraining you? Okay, first God. Um, For me, I've seen, I've seen this happen a lot of time in conversations. For instance, I'm having a conversation with somebody and I just, I just I, I, I'm at the point of saying something. All of a sudden, you just feel this. That you should not say it. How many of you have felt that before? That you should stop this conversation now? How many of you have felt it? Okay. If you say it, if you keep saying it. Uh, for, I think I've seen this point that after I said it, I feel like I leaked like you wasted 
virtue. Exactly. Like I'm just I just feel like you are drained. Yeah, exactly. Like your energy and everything just you're just drained. So when you are now having a conversation and that happens, what will you do? I will just switch. Switch what I was saying. If you have not learned to restrain, you cannot be great. You cannot. Oh. One of the very strong prophetic flows I have noticed, I'm coming to you, is that bad things don't happen to me like that. There's a blessing in it. One day I was on bike. We were living in the former house. And the chain of the bike caught. So I stood. I knew that it was not normal. I was just trying to discern what does God want to say with this. You know, this generation will say, it's just chained that court. For a child of God, it's not always like that. So, as I wanted to pay the man, the man said, don't worry. Because I was almost home. As I moved two, three steps, I just heard people saying, go back. One big, massive dog had been let loose on that street. And everyone, imagine our own bike was going. Not to now talk of the chain cutting there. <laughs> that, that dog was almost as big as this here. When I saw the dog, with all my anointing, I ran inside someone's house without invitation. I said what? What? I said dog, dog, dog. <laughs> but do you know that that kind of thing can be dangerous for a bike? And God caught it. And that's why someone like me, I'm not quick to say, why is my life like this? My life is not. Is not do you understand what I'm saying? Because I know that there's a blessing. In this thing is a prophetic flow i've noticed let me give you an example in this church anytime i attempt a project and money is not coming we're about to waste money you know what i will begin to do i'll begin to look for options and when i see a cheaper option the money i would have spent for the expensive one we say come and god is saying it's not the money this is not this is waste are you, are you getting one? It's a prophetic flow you must observe. Talk, I need you to talk. Tell us your, your own restraint. I will round it off now. Huh? Praise the Lord. It was one of my friends, my workmates, that we once worked in an organization and he actually stayed at my place and he provided everything. Okay, now he used to bring food to us and I was like, where did you see this money? And you tell me, like, you provide every evidence that, okay, you work for the money, for the food. But I feel this kind of, this thing is not right. I have to tell someone that I, we work together that um, I'm not feeling this thing, that this thing is not right. So in the, the next two, three days or four days, he was caught and was taken to the police station. Hmm. The next two, three days was what? He was taken to the police station. He was taken to the police station. How long you were? They brought young flour for one of my pastors. And it was at a time where they didn't have food. They didn't have food. Ah! And he was already giving God praise for the young flour. When he just lost his peace. The loss of peace pushed him to pray. At times that loss of peace will push you to pray. When he prayed to a point, then God spoke to him. The first thing that happened was loss of peace. And they had put water on fire. They have already put water over a quicker jamala. <laughs> and God said to him, You eat that young flower, you meet me at home today. Ah. So he went there. He said, Wait, wait. Water was boiling. He said, Wait. Took like a cup of the young flower. Pin was broken in pieces inside it. Plenty. Someone didn't get it. You want to eat something and you just lose your peace. Huh. It doesn't matter the pieces of meat. Oh, Bele. When you master restraints, is the greatest secret of safety. How many of you have learned something today? What did you learn? Let me take one or two feedbacks. I want to know whether you got it before we pray. I'm going to make a very strong declaration that will begin descending your prophetic flow. What did you learn? Feedbacks. Yes, Mav. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. One thing that I learned and really stood out for me this evening is the way God trains me such that um, right from a tender age, even as I grow, there is a pattern that God is training me with. You know, pastor said something, he was, when he talked about dream, and then when he was going to end um, that conversation around dream, pastor said that um, you can't use it like in terms of emergency. That is not something that you can easily assess when it gets to emergencies. And before then, I realized that while I was much younger, one of the ways by which I pick things is by dreaming. I can just dream. And then I realized that as I started knowing the Lord and started growing in God, he changed from just dreaming to just knowing at the moment. And that one stood out for me such that I know that as I grow, I pay more attention to that, that knowing. Pattern. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, any other feedback? What did you learn? What stood out for you? Yes, Bolaji. A very brilliant seed will come from you. It's going to be very intelligent. And the Lord says there is an intellectual grace on him. He will be a doctor. Hear what I'm saying. And he will move around the nations of the world. The Lord, a mighty solution, a major solution will flow from him. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And the Lord says, tell her that John will be a Christian intellectual to the nations of the world. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. But that thing took me over. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm this kind of person that I don't naturally get angry easily. I miss but you. I notice that if, and I don't know how to say no to people, but okay, I notice hand. that, um, okay, according to what Pastor said, pattern, I notice that if someone gives me something uh, and I want to apply restraints, I'll just naturally get angry and say, no, I don't want. Like, it happened to me in school. They gave us food. Mm. So I felt like what they gave me, I don't deserve it. I was angry. So when I got to the lodge, I just gave it out. I don't want. And later I got to realize that I was not supposed to eat that food. So I noticed that anger is one of my um, personal restraints. That you just I feel an unrest. Not necessarily. Is it anger? Like a, a sharp yes. disconnection. Hmm. Let me tell you just one more story. I mean, if you are learning here, wave your hand. There's an anointing on me. I'm going to prophesy to a few people here. We, I was senior prefect of my secondary school, so we wanted to do social day, and we didn't have money. And there are some goats that was roaming around our school. How many of you know those goats? That they are just inside your school. It's like God planted them there. And they have started impregnating themselves. So they are giving birth there. So there are goats that people cannot claim in the school. Just roaming around school. <laughs> so I told my people, Henry, <laughs> we agreed to come around 6 a.m., steal two or three, <laughs> kill them, and use them for a social night. Somebody say amen. There was a teacher we spoke to that this is what we want to do. And we'll give you this share. And they just said, fine. <laughs> so we came early. Stole like two or three. We arranged the people that we keep. Uh, we had students amidst us that could kill. They killed it. The people, some people that we put in jail, they were still stealing our stolen goods. They stole out of it. Ah! I said, why can you be stealing our stolen goods? My mom was acting principal of our school. We invited them to our social day. They came, sat. We served all of them with the stolen goods to implicate them. If any troubles, I just join you. There is one man. Ah, the way he was eating the tea. We we're looking at that. <laughs> and my mom said she was not fasting. Ah, she just did not eat. We look at her. Eat this thing. Yeah. She was the only one that didn't eat it on her table. Every other person, ah, ah. <laughs> I just shame <shenny. laughs> ah. It was so funny. So later, that social day went like that. They were just asking, you more Ibo let it roll. Ibo let it roll. 
After we left secondary school, I now told my mom, I said, do you know that goat that day we stole it? She said, thank you, Holy Spirit. I just didn't feel like eating. Let me tell you something. Something might have dropped in your destiny every time you betray that feeling not to do something. You know, let me tell you this very strong truth. You may conquer the restraint, but you will be conquered later. You know, how many of you know that restraint can be silenced? You can silence restraint. You want to say yes and you are feeling like don't do it, don't do it. If you eventually do it, it will eventually look like you, you can lose that sense of restraint. But somewhere in front, events will remind you of the restraint. Descending your prophetic flow. Can somebody say I'm prophetic? Oh, rise up as you say it. Play, beloved. Say I'm prophetic. Yes. Shopai Gemahas. Oh, Jesus. Such a heavy anointing is on me. Yes. What is like a question, sir? Yes, ask it. Can we trust? So kind. Can we trust this um these tools? Let me use the word tools to describe all of them. When our spirit man isn't charged in quotes, because I've seen this situation yeah. where when your spirit man is charged, you the accuracy is higher, but when it is not charged. Sometimes maybe the flesh or the soulish might cloud. I don't. I, I, I believe I've communicated it. Yes, there are different channels through which God speaks to you. It's not always one. The first thing you must check is which is the strongest. There are times when people tell me to pray on critical matters. If it comes through a channel I don't usually so trust, but that has been accurate at times, I will say, wait, let me pray. You see, let me tell you this. That channel that is strongest can still bring you back to order even when you are not judged. Do you get what I'm saying now? Yes. It is not just about being charged all the time. It is about knowing the communication system of heaven to you. There are times you just stand up to go out and God says, don't. Ah, ah. Don't. I told you this story. I've told you this a number of times. I left church office and I lost my peace. I was inside public transport in Ife. I was pastoring people and I lost my It was like they brought an heavy load on my heart. I just lost all my happiness and I knew it's like something's ringing in my heart. I, 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 oh boy. I knew that God wanted me to. So, so I was praying but I still didn't access the information. Until God speaks and you lose your peace, don't stop praying. Did you hear what I said? Until you can accurately discern the voice of God in the midst of the loss of peace, don't stop praying. Don't. So I didn't hear anything. That day was Arsenal Chelsea. 2000 and uh, is he 18 or 17? I've even forgotten. I said, I know that Chelsea beat Arsenal 3 0. I remember that match. It was too sweet. So I sat there, I watched it, I watched it. After, as I was watching the match, it was like I didn't lose my peace. That activity made me forget. You can get busy and forget that there's a body. But it doesn't stop what is about to happen. So as I wanted to sleep again, the body came back again. You know what we try to do now? Shkandro Vakati Groskadea. And I wanted to sleep. Then I heard God clearly say, pray. It was like a prophetic alarm in my head. I said, ha. Ah, I'm going to pray for you. Ah. So I stood up. It was a lot. I felt practically like I was piercing through a rock. Like I was, it was, it was. At some point, I prayed to a point and I heard the voice of God clearly. Sleep! Ah. So I took this kind of ox fan, positioned it on my head, and I slept. Who told me to sleep? Who? <laughs> the next thing I saw was my brother waking me up. He said, Ole, 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 Ole. I said, I wonder. Ah, he said, Show Sharoni, show Makmawani. I didn't know. They had entered the house. They had robbed them, beaten them. I didn't wake up. God told me to sleep. 
I just noticed that I didn't see my small phone, but I saw my wallet and my big phone. They actually entered my room, so when they entered, they took light. They needed the third light phone. They left my wallet, money was inside, and they left my Android phone. And they went out. So as I saw that they had beaten my brother and they had taken his bag, containing his laptop and all that, we began, I just began to pray in the Holy Ghost. That was going on. They were still upstairs robbing. We could hear them. So in the process, they resisted them upstairs. They resisted them. So the man upstairs didn't open his door. That they shot. You know, some people are just naturally bold. Not by the spirit. They are just bold. He didn't open his door. So while they were trying to struggle with the door, they dropped the bag. Someone didn't get it. As they wanted to enter the man's house, security personnel came, so they escaped. They left the bag. What was God trying to do? There is danger coming. Generate energy to strive through. If they entered and beat me, people will say, oh, I want them, no pastor. I want people in your bed alone. What bed alone? You are the one that has not stirred the presence that will stir that fear. And God actually came to you. But you ignored. If I, do you know that if I attempted to sleep with the body, sleep will come. But I will, I will soon wake. That's what I'm saying. Lift your hands and say, Lord, show me my prophetic pattern. Show me. Show me. Show me. Makala breshke panefredai. Akiti prapa takite praye. Ah. Okopoi. Pastor Barker, I want you to go and play. Come. Come. Just play. Ah. Everybody pray. Saka ye moske. Ayema kora. Just play. Oh, I am a Koreama. prophetic pattern. Aye ma sute mede yigo ma ye mas kebinia. Aye ma karia baso te primele to ni medi kote. Paso la mi de get me anointing oil. Please spare me some time tonight. Tonight is a different night. Aye, makura basangra de separa mani bedino. Every demonic spirit oppressing anyone here. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Huh? <laughs> Make sure you are praying. 
Lord, activate a prophetic flow in me. Show me my pattern. Suti Mahaya, pray with him. A Maheko Hikamai, just minister to him. Check your spirit. A Bakahi Pussy Kebaini, a Bekepe Rebesi Prush. There's going to be an opening. And it's a season where you are going to be very prophetic. It's going to be very serious. Heavy knowings will land in your heart. And there will be exact events that will happen. It will begin from tonight. It will just look like a load of information is dropped in your spirit. Has it been happening? Has it been happening to you before? It has been happening since when? This time it will be a stable operation of God in your life. Don't, don't stop praying. Ah, if I'm not talking to you, don't stop praying. It will be very serious. And at any moment it comes, let it loose. Let it out. Speak it out. Speak it out. Speak it out. For there's grace for the prophetic. You know, you, it may shock you, but God said you're a prophet. You know. You know. And in the name of Jesus, I activate that flow. Oh, that's it. Oh, function in that office. As a man, privileged one, functioning in that office, I bring you into that office now. That's right. You will need to really help her. It's heavy. In the, I activate the angels that is supposed to stir you up. Oh, oh, prophetic office. Yes, yes, yes. That's what is happening now. In the name of Jesus. Take it! Yes, Ibahas. Everybody pray. Join your hands with one person and just pray in the Holy Spirit. Very seriously. Pray loudly. I sense tonight is not an ordinary night. Something is about to shift. of seeing and knowing visions and revelations come beloved visions and revelations visions stand, stand. visions and revelations lift your hands visions and revelations thank you lord visions and revelations visions and revelations the spirit of seeing and knowing oh visions and revelations the spirit of seeing and knowing visions and revelations that is the dimension god has brought for you there will be a divine quickening that will make you see and know accurately it will happen it will begin to happen from now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lift your hands everyone something is happening here everyone lift your hands and make sure your heart is open to receive this lord you spoke to me that there is a mighty release of visions and revelations. The ability to see into the spirit. The ability to know things supernaturally. There is a divine quickening and activation going on in this place. And in the name of Jesus, as many as are really hungry for it and has been ordained to function in it, both online and on site, and in the name of Jesus, let it rest on them now. Hmm. If you can't find anointing, or don't worry, you don't worry, don't miss what is going on here. For Kai and Green Dai Gamai Gavoshi, people will start having experiences here now. Experiences, prophetic experiences. You will practically begin to see things, and I think I will take one or two of that. Oh, experiences, visions, and revelations visions and revelations visions and revelations and in the name of jesus those experiences yes yes 
Yes. Yes. Yes, agara ya kondre. Akapende vredi. Apana vetu sikendra. Ah, eke prodisi ko rai ketindroma sondrai. Ai grida izakim profaida. Akato kripo sikore shekete dabahai. Ava sovros keto krima hisonde. I'm not shouting deliberately, oh, but something is happening here. Prophetic experiences, visions, and revelations. Visions and revelations. Visions, oh boy, and revelations. There's a new flow of it activated in your life. It's a new flow. What I'm seeing is like names and surnames. And I'm seeing it. And you will function in it by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will hinder it. I stay a free flow of that unction. Because by preordination, you have been ordained to flow in it. And in the name of Jesus, I stay boldness in it. In the name of Jesus, that anointing to flow in the prophetic with accuracy is resting on you now. Take it! Yes, Lord! Ah, for Kaya Nevroshida. So Kaya, my come, my fellows, come over them. Do hush. So Kai take up a rahande. Come, the Lord says to me, Walk with him, walk with him. It's a prophetic move. And as this happens, someone should stand behind him, please. Ah, Yamakurahaya. Crooked paths will be made straight. I speak as a prophet of God. Your path is cleared. Your path is cleared. Oh, by the anointing. <laughs> Your path is cleared. Your path is cleared. By the anointing. Your path is cleared. Oh, your path is cleared. Your path is clear. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is making it happen. Your path is cleared by the anointing. Take it now. Just lift your hands to God and say, God, I am here. Touch me tonight. Touch me. 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 Now, if you are seeing visions and revelations, just come forward. You saw something while I made that declaration, come forward. Don't make me take time on this. Something opened up to you. You had a knowing. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. I have a, a duty to interpret here tonight. You saw something or you had a knowing while I made that declaration. Come forward. I want to help you. I want to help you. Vossi Zakri. Gruski Pare. Ron Trabedes, yes, beloved, come, come, thank you, Lord, come. Vikete Kri to Kripu City. I'm supposed to go somewhere after this meeting, but I'm not going again. I'm not. There's something God is doing here. You saw something. Why they are talking, you will still see. Now, I'm going to do one more thing. I, can you permit me to minister as God wants me to tonight? There's something tonight is different. Pastor Bakri, let's hear. What did you see? Just keep praying within your heart that God touch me. And God said, as he held the microphone, God said, pray for everyone that fear has crippled their prophetic flow. You are afraid to flow. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out that fear. Amen. Your amen does not sound like the anointing that is present in this room. I cast out that fear. Amen. Yes, talk to me. Hallelujah. Pastor, before you mention the give the instruction already, I already saw like I saw like a host behind you. Like time. an host behind me. Yes, yes we work together. Yes, huh? At least we told, I, I I saw it when you were in the altar, they were with you, and when you came down, it just they followed you. As when they came and yes, we always, work together. And the, there's always a, a signal when there's an angelic presence. Drop the microphone and just look at me. The Lord said, release same prophetic grace. Look at me. Don't close your eyes. 
No. Look. Look. Oh. Oh. Shikaya mai. Ovaketi mai. Eveketi mai. What can you see? What can you see? <laughs> Put the microphone in his mouth. Fai gema sofri. It's like I I I see <laughs> I first saw my hand up. Evina, we are in glory days in this ministry. We are in glory days. Bring him. What can you see? Don't try to make me feel like a man of God. Just yes, tell me. Yes, sir. It's, it's like right, right in the hand. I'm seeing what, what I just saw. Like the, 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 the picture of what I saw in the vision. I'm, I can envision it in the hand. Let me see. And if there is something you have seen in me that you desire, that thing will rest on you now. Lift your hands and receive it. Everybody join your hands together. Join your hands together and stand. What did you see? Let's take Dr. Emmanuel. I saw in that place in my mind like a bean holding something like a sword. So there was a knowing in my heart that it's here to judge as in altars. That what? As in I saw like a bean is my mind. So there was a knowing in my spirit that as in that bean is here to judge altars in people's lives. To do what? To judge altars, altars. Altars. Lift your hands, everyone here. Lift your hands. I, I don't know. Are you discerning this meeting? 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 Jesus, help me. Akai Damahai. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for it. Oh. Are you discerning this meeting? Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, bring her. I'm supposed to pray for her. Oh, thank you, Lord. Take it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Help her. Take the baby. Take the baby from her. Take the baby. Take the baby. Have a she umbro and dry keti sikema. Hear me, beloved. Come, 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 come. Bring your hands. There's grace resting on you tonight. It's a new day, said the Lord. It's a different season. And the prophetic you is being stirred. There's an anointing that is resting on you. You will know things supernatural that no one told you. And the old Pida, I see fire on your head. The fire of God is being stirred in your life right now. Thank you. Everybody lift your hands. Pastor Bakri, get back on that keyboard. I need, oh, Mav, go and play. Because of the assignment you are doing with me, Mav, play. Hey, for Kaida, please don't miss this. The three people on the sound, come, come. Come, 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 come. Pokete, Fokote, Sepeke, Ebebebe, Ebebebe. Ooh, ha ha! You can't do this, Bringa. Abada das, Adada das. Something is happening here. Ah yeah 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 yeah. Ha 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 ha. Ooh. Grace on you, Jesus. Come, beloved. Come, 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 come. Woo. Kai. Woo. 
<laughs> bring her, bring her. Hey, the guy, something is here. Hey, Rakaribos. Those of you online receive it. Oh, Jesus. Power. <laughs> Come, son. Come, son. Take it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The person on the camera, come, come, come quickly, come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. Iba ba 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 ba. So much fire here. Oh, so much fire here. So much fire. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Oh, hi. Sakari kere baite, vaikai de taire, aikataire. Araitasa, everybody pray in the Holy Ghost. Aratafai rokoteya, my kerai katai da baska. Come, Kalex, come, 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 take it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come, Israel, come, come, take the camera from him. Oh, this, this, this jacket is soaked in the anointing. It's soaked, soaked, soaked. Take it. Oh, precious Lord, thank you. There's a stirring going on here. As I count seven, let it land on life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now take it, take it, take it. Aha. 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 There is a voice of a prophet I'm hearing. There will be a scream from my right. There's a scream from my right. And the Lord says, that's the voice of the prophet. Where is this prophet, oh God? Where is this prophet, oh God? In the name of Jesus. Deep is calling to the deep. I caught a sharing by the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. I see three signs. Wait, wait on top of what you are wearing. Wait, wait, wait. Someone stand behind him. Don't mess with what is going on here. I see three signs. The first sign is a scream. The second sign is a dance. The third sign is a laughter. And in the name of Jesus, I release a tree. I release a tree. Where's the scream? Where's the dance? Where's the laughter? And now, <laughs> now, 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 now. Aha. Ake ye go gain blood. This key. Ade maha. Yes, Toby, we prophesy now. All those things will happen. Come, come, take the mic, daughter. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. That's the screen. Maraki Kepriyama. Ekele Bakitu Kabakai. Those of you online, I spread my hands to you in the name of Jesus. Let this same anointing rest on you now. Come, beloved. Come. Come, come, take the microphone. Give her the microphone. Let her speak. She's quicking to speak. Oh, what a Friday. Just speak, speak, speak. The word of the Lord is in your mouth. The word of the Lord is in your mouth. Come gift, come gift, come gift. Get me that blue handkerchief. Where is it? Come, 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 come. Where is that blue handkerchief? Hold it. Someone hold it. Wait. Kokaheba. Hold it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God is here and we know it. Kaira Kaira, my Rakai de Sotele Britiska. Shokeme diha, Rebe Kitobe. Tocha, Tocha, Tocha. Yes, speak to me. 
The word of God is in your mouth. Come, Antonia. Come, uh, precious. Come, come, come. There's a, there's a flow here. Oh, a mighty flow of God's presence. Hold and minister to her. Something will happen. Please stand behind them. There is light flowing from this guy to her. Precious Lord, thank you. Speak, beloved. Speak. Speak. Voki yama adaro lo rupo adaro lo rupo ola no sorry open oh boy yes speak speak that thing is reducing I can right. see that there is a staring of waters. To something faint. I'm feeling it. God put it on me. How does it feel? I'm feeling it. Don't worry. I know when God does that. Oh. 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 Yes, help her. Come victory, come hold this hand. Come hold this hand. Yes. That's light, light all over you. Light, light. And there shall be eruptions of gifting. Come, let you come, come. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. For barriers have been lifted. For barriers have been lifted. Let it flow. Let it out. This is probably the last thing we will do here. I think just pray in the Holy Ghost loud, 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 loud. Pray loud at the top of your voice. Please obey this instruction. Pray loud. It's not loud <laughs> and with great power gave them witness to the resurrection of Jesus and great grace was upon them I hear that scripture and great grace was upon them and great grace was upon them and great grace was upon them there's a mighty release of grace here and in the name of Jesus everyone under the sound of my voice online and on site take it now take it now take it now take it now aha aha kaibari kaide aikaya help her help her help her 
I raka by that sedoni. Akrides kata rikri krikare. Mendre de seti kombrokes kebeni. Aha, aha. Maraka pa gris ketoni. Aha. Aye bo si ama dombreni sombreni dombreni aya kondreni na medine debede 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 aye gede debede 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 come on debede 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 ha ha debede 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 And the Lord says to me, to someone, something has started. A new level of relationship has started. He says this overwhelming presence has come to stay. You will feel the presence of God tangible on you regularly. And the Lord says to tell you when that happens, I have come for a conversation. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> ah, come, 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 get me here. Come, 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 come. Kai! Kara Shanda! Every anointing here, sit! Maraka Tandra Ketombre! Just, just watch them. Maraka 
Kata Kristusku. Passou até de um. Sit below, sit, 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 sit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sit, sit. Sit, sit, come, 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 get me here. There's an anointing on me. Oh, sare kilende, sit on it. Precious Lord, thank you. Paria tandanda labaha. Pastor Bakri, hold the hands, hold the hands. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 fast. Grace on you, precious Lord. Thank you. The care get you, get you, get I want to leave, but there's still a mighty release of fresh fire here. If you desire more, take it now. Something just speak. And I see ancient prophetic grace. Reko shabra teke raba, raba. Shebro koko shabra teke raba. Ancient prophetic grace. Reko shabra teke raba, reko shabra teke raba, raba ba 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 ba. And I see that gift now. Shabra kora bakaraba. Yikorabaka shabra tekereba, rekorabaka rabako shabra tekereba, reko shabra takarabara baraba, reba ba 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 ko sha. Isra please come, Isra come please. Rabako shabra tekereba, reba ba 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 karaba. Ancient prophetic grace. Woo, riku shabra taraba baraba, reba ba 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 karaba ka shateya. Ina maroba kosha brate kere bara 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 reba ba 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 that grace is on you that grace is on you shobra te kara ba kara ba kosha pate ela roba ba 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 kosha is on you too this is revival this is revival I see men rising from this house I see strong men rising men of accurate prophetic insight men strong in doctrine men of power men of miracles they are rising Karabasia bakandre deja kapaida ba ha 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 ha
seated and we have entered glory to God. Gift come. More than you can do. More than your strength can carry. Is what I release unto you right now. You will serve God. You will serve him. Only it will will you do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I break chains off you right now. I stand as a prophet of God. And I break chains off you right now. Hallelujah. I declare this region a saturated region with the anointing. When people come to this region now, they enter into a space of God's presence, and that presence will overwhelm them. And flow through them. And we give Jesus praise. Lift your hands and just give Jesus praise for such a night. Toby. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let the get Thank you, Jesus. 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 Can we begin to bless our Father in love from our hearts? Let's bless our Father in love from our hearts. Increase in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 
Can we package our tithes and our offering this evening? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this evening. Thank you for the outpour of your spirit. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We can drop our offerings in the offering baskets as it's passed around. Thank you, Jesus. You are welcome to Touch Prayers Ministries International. You are welcome to Touch Prayers Ministries International. Glory to God. We um, okay, so let's celebrate our online community. Can we celebrate our online community? At Touch Prayers, we're a family commission to raise the people who are conscious of prophecy and their part in it. A generation that understands the times and works accordingly through the teaching of God's word, prophetic inclination, and the demonstration of God's power. Glory to God. We believe in the Lordship of Jesus, the operations of the Holy Spirit to reveal Jesus. We believe in the authority of the scriptures. We believe in the Holy Communion. And we believe that prayer is God's tool to change situations. Praise God. Praise God. So can we rise on our feet as we celebrate the pastorate of Touch Bears Ministries International? Can we celebrate the pastorate of Touch Bears Ministries International? Can we celebrate the resident pastors of Touch Bears Ministries International? And can we celebrate our father and our mother in the Lord, Pastor Emmanuel and Pastor Ted Jolani We love you, sir. We love you, Ma. Glory to God. We can have our seats. So, our service is held on Sundays by 9 a.m. So, service will be holding by 9 a.m. All stewards are expected to be in church by 8.30 a.m. Praise God. Bible study holds on Wednesdays by 5.30. Prayer meeting holds on Fridays by 5.30. And outreach holds on Saturdays by 4 p.m. So, outreach will be holding tomorrow by 4 p.m. All stewards should be in church. All members should be in church. Let's go out to invite people to come and enjoy what we are enjoying in this house. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ladies Hangouts 2022. Ladies Hangouts 2022. Ladies Hangouts will be holding powerfully on the 12th of November 2022. Glory to God. It's going to be a day out with our mother in the Lord, Pastor Tejola Nipwekun. Let's invite all ladies, like I've been saying, let's invite every lady that we know for this program. Promises to be fun and life-changing. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, so if you are not on the WhatsApp group, kindly see me after service to be added to the WhatsApp page. Please do well to join the service unit today if you are not in one. We have the watch, which is the prayer unit. We have beautiful feet, which is the evangelism unit. We have upside, which is the choir. We have the vision, which is the multimedia unit. We have warm and smell, which is the ushering unit. We have intensify, which is the media unit. We have touch screens, which is the drama unit. We have the follow-up unit. We have the facility unit and the children church. Glory to God. Partnership with Emmanuel Olani is open to all members of the church. So if you would like to partner with the ministry of our Father and Lord, kindly see me after the service. For more of Pastor's messages, kindly subscribe to Pastor E. Olani messages on Telegram. And you can follow us on our various social media platforms on Instagram at Touch Bears Ministries, on Facebook and YouTube at Touch Bears Ministries International. Glory to God. Okay, so a um, few important announcements. There will be a meeting of sons and daughters of our Father in the Lord tomorrow by 8 p.m. And it's going to be on the Telegram page. Okay, so importantly, two outreach oats tomorrow by 4 p.m. And it's compulsory that all stewards are here. And also tomorrow by 4 p.m. There, will be, there is going to be a meeting of all stewards with our Father in the Lord by 4 p.m. tomorrow. It's compulsory for all stewards to be in attendance. There is no excuse. 
It's compulsory for us to us to be in attendance and time is 4 p.m. and there should be no lateness too. And then another important announcement, if you'll be going for the wedding of our resident pastor, Pastor Building Laurie, kindly see me after service to put down your name so that we can make proper arrangements for both. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. As we rise on our feet to welcome our pastor to close service. Hallelujah. What a night. Can we wave our hands to God for such a night of encounter? Can we celebrate the online community? <laughs> Hallelujah. By the grace of God, 4 p.m. tomorrow, all stewards are to be here. Don't be late. You cannot be late. It is compulsory. Shout amen if you can hear me. Amen. Tell stewards that are not here that the meeting is with me and it is compulsory. It's non negotiable. 4 p.m. tomorrow, make it here. We have something we want to say to ourselves. And God will help us in Jesus' name. How many of you have been tremendously blessed tonight? Hallelujah. Glory to God. See you tomorrow. Uh, we are Touch Bearer's Nation. Oh, talk to me. We are Touch Bearer's Nation. We pick everywhere. We feel everywhere. We are rich. We are intelligent. We are spiritual. Ah, help me, help me. We are influential and we are very intelligent. We reign as kings and queens unto our God and we rejoice.